So I'm going to show you guys how to get into the temperature check mode for the uh, automatic transmission fluid. So you start the engine. This is without having to put the pin or to uh, put a paper clip in the OBD2 port. Most of the online directions say that you need to put a paper clip or a wire or something to connect port 4 to port 13. But I found that you don't have to do it, at least on a 21. Tacoma TRD off-road. So anyways, you start up the engine, put it in neutral for two seconds, and then start going between neutral and drive a bunch of times until the drive indicator goes on for two seconds. It stays on, then disappears. Then you put it into park, set the e-brake, and wait for the D to come back on, which usually takes about 10 to 15 minutes. Even though it's in park, the D is going to be what shows up right here. That means that it's time to check the fluid. Then you have a few minutes um, to do that by pulling that little plug at the bottom of the, uh, the pan. There's a little overflow plug that's a five millimeter hex. Take that out, let it drain out. And then when it goes to a dribble, you put the plug back in. You got to do that before this D starts blinking. See, the D just popped up because my truck was already warm. So I got to go check it right now. So I just pulled the overflow plug, this little five millimeter hex. And uh, see how it's pouring out of there. It came out pretty fast when I pulled the plug. It just didn't have enough hands to hold the phone too. But <laughs> when it goes down to a dribble, then you know that the transmission fluid is at the correct level. And this is so that you don't have to put a paper clip in the OBD2 port. It's not necessary, at least on a 21 PRD off-road 4x4. I don't think it matters that it's a double cap short there. See, it's just starting to barely fizzle out of there. So... I'd almost call that just a dribble. Probably drained about maybe a third of the port. I had put a half a port extra in it before I started this procedure just to make sure I was a little overfull. Um, the reason I'm checking it is because sometimes the uh, factory underfills these transmissions, at least it's kind of a known thing that they do that. So um, I'm gonna put this back in, yeah, that's pretty much a trickle as far as I'm concerned. So I just wanted to check that mine was in fact filled to the proper level, which more or less it was. I put in about a half quart into it and it looks like I drained about a half quart. So that means it was at the proper level. But anyway, that's how you check it.